everyone, it's Anthony from Gaming Cards and More, and welcome back to another video today. In today's video, I've got some mail, so uh, just let me adjust my camera here, it's a little off. But yeah, my stand broke, so I am trying to get this. Yeah, <laughs> anyways, we have mail. Um, this isn't going to be a super long video, a couple trades and purchases. Um, first thing I will show you though is the featured cards. So our featured cards are continuing from my Calgary Flames rookie card collection of the cup winners. So we got this Theo Fleury PSA 9. PSA 9 Theo Fleury. We got a PSA 8.5 Joey Neuendijk. And a... PSA 9 Al McKennis. I love that card. That's a beauty. And without further ado, we'll get into the mail pickups. So the first thing is this uh, Jesper Boquist Artifacts Rookie. It was one of the redemptions I had from back December of 2019. It came in the mail. So I got a red 216 Jesper Boquist Artifacts Rookie 554 out of 999. Next one is for my PC. They did send some extras, so we'll go over the extras first. This was an eBay purchase. So I will throw up their eBay information on the screen. If you feel like looking for them, you might be able to see what they have for sale. So I don't collect football, but I did get a few football cards. Keenan Allen. Josh Norman, Miles Garrett, Derek Carr. And then I got some Goodwins Champions, Big Boy the Rapper, Jenny Andrade the Model. We got Joe Morovsky, an athlete, I believe it was. No, not swimming. Uh, American Ninja Warrior. And here's the swimming one, Simone Manuel. Champs. And the main card that I purchased from that eBay purchase was this here for my PC, Manon Rayom, uh, autograph on card. Very nice card. Very much enjoy that. So yeah, another autograph for my Manon Rayom collection. Um, the next two were trade slash purchases with the card collector 255 so these are the extras he sent from the first trade slash purchase so we got a one one stamped uh vault black game used black jersey uh stanislav galiev so these are kind of like the upper deck buybacks which I won't ever understand why everyone gives them such a hard time. Oh, it's not a true one of one. Da, da, da. I get that. I, I honestly do. But Upper Deck does buybacks as well. And they restamp cards as a one of one. And it's now accepted as the one of one. The difference with these guys is they'll do like 10 of these same cards or 20 of these or 30 of these same jersey cards, but do different color vault stamps. So each color has a different number of quantity produced. Plus they were already rare as it is. So if you were to get like a gold version, that was already, there was usually out of like 10. So they were already rare as well. But anyways, enough of my rant. <laughs> um, got a sign of the times, John Michael Lyles. I loved Lyles when he played. I felt he was a very underrated defenseman. Um, so that also there, sign of the times, John Michael Lyles. Also another throw in. We got an Oliver... Bjorkstrand from the Blue Jackets Parkhurst Rookies. Oliver Bjorkstrand. Got a canvas of David Krejci. This next one, I actually pulled one of these way back in the day. As well as, well as a Datsuk uh, rookie out of this Bowman stuff. Um, only bought like five packs or whatever. So that's really cool to see that. I don't have it anymore. I sold it when I sold my original collection. But a Robin Regeer, uh, jersey card, black, um, pro fabric of the future jersey from Bowman Young Stars. So yes, very cool card. Um, to get to the main part of that trade slash purchase, here is a Joe Sackick rookie card, PSA 8. Joe Sackick. Legend. 
and a PSA 6 Mario Lemieux second year card. So that's going to go with my Mario Lemieux rookie card. I personally think looking at it, it doesn't look that bad. Like, I got a little bit of dingage there. That corner is really crisp. Crisp, crisp. I mean, I would have thought maybe a 7. But uh, yeah, no obvious. It doesn't look like it's severely off center. Just a little slightly off cut, you can tell. But uh, very nice second year Mario Lemieux. And then the second trade slash purchase. Um, I don't know if you guys watched his channel and saw that he got that Jack Eichel printing plate autograph of mine. I sent him that and some cash. I can't remember if there's anything else with it. This is what I got in return. So these are the throw-ins. He tossed me in a uh, Vladimir Konstantinov rookie card. That is really cool. That's nostalgic right there. From the years of Detroit was just turning into a beast of a team back then. We've got an SP Essentials of Lanny McDonald, 693 of 1999. SP Essentials, Lanny, that's very cool as well. Got a Jerome Ginla top scorers. Top scorers, Jerome Ginla. I'm just kind of checking it out here. 2005 McDonald's. Okay. There you go. McDonald's. Very cool. That'll go in my Flames binder. And he also threw in this Jason Demers Autofax. So, I mean, you know, he's very generous. I mean, I that being said, I have purchased a lot of value worth of cards from him. So um, I can't speak for everybody else and what they may get for throw-ins and whatnot. But if you've bought as much as me or more, I'm pretty sure you're getting the same kind of throw-ins. Um, 168 of 499, a Jonas Donskoy Contours Rookie Auto. It's a sticker auto. Very cool though. Jonas Donskoy has been a pretty decent player. I cannot grape with that as a throw-in. I mean, I don't grape with any throw-ins. Anything somebody sends me for free or gives me for free during a trade or a purchase, they're all greatly appreciated. So I, I like them all. I believe this is a Trevor Linden rookie card. If I remember correctly. Yes, I, I, I believe it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure this is Trevor Linden rookie card. If it is, that's super cool. He was a Vancouver Canucks legend. Um, then we've got this. Wow, I can't even read that from Don Russ. Mika Kiprasov. Looks like some sort of Finnish word. <laughs> can't read it. I'm not even going to attempt it. And it's like clear. So it's very cool. Very cool card. Really like that acetate kind of look. Um, next up is an Emil Poirier Young Guns. That also will go into my Flames Binder. So. I do believe I have one regular one in my uh, Young Guns collection as it is. Then we've got a Year of the Great One, Wayne Gretzky. Oops. Year of the Great One, Wayne Gretzky here. So I'll let you guys take a peek at that. Next up was a Rookie Portraits of Travis Konechny. It's funny because I think I sent him as an extra a Konechny jersey local heroes or whatever and then a bill barber high gloss out of 25 so i don't have quite as huge many cards as he has in the collection so but that's really cool too nhl game gear um from sp game used rick nash that one's out of 100 number 16 the reverse of his jersey number um and I, when i was playing sports when i was younger i always wore number 16 so that's really cool I very much like that Nash with that beautiful goal, highlight goal. If you've never seen Nash's superb highlight goal, go look up Nash, highlight goal. Then we got this Keith Primo out of Pacific. And this is a blue parallel, 43 out of 250 for Keith Primo. We've got a Sunset Evgeny Kuznetsov. And you can just imagine a picture of a can of Coke here. If you watch Ziri, then you know what we're talking about. Next up for Tossins, I really like the look of this card, um, Pacific Revolution. It is a Le Cavalier Rookie. Very nice. I quite like that. Le Cavalier is an amazing player. So 
very cool. Not technically a real rookie, being an insert and not out of a base, but very awesome. Next up is another autograph throw-in from Sven Berchi. Funny thing is, in my last, one of my latest box breaks, I actually pulled this card. So this will be my second one of those, and still, no complaints. I will put that in my Flames PC binder and take care of that. So thank you very much for that one as well. We've got a Jerome Aginla Horizons. I always liked the look of this set as well. Very nice, shiny set. This one's out of McDonald's. Jerome Aginla Horizons. Chuck Kobasu from Vanguard. It is a 2003 rookie. Chucky Kobasu was supposed to be a big player for us. Um, didn't quite turn out to be how we wanted him to be, but still, you know, did all right. He made it to the bigs, played a bit, so... Number 1533 out of 1650. Pretty awesome. Everyone will go, oh, that's such a high number, you know, 1650. How many Connor McDavid rookie cards are there out there? Matthews, Marner, Carter Hart. They're not numbered. We have no idea what their print run is. Maybe there's 12,000. Maybe there's 20,000. Maybe there's 1,000. Who knows? But 1650 isn't really a huge print run when you think about the rookies coming out as today's young guns. Uh, speaking of young guns, Spencer Fu. I believe this is my second one, but that will also go into my Flames PC. The first one's in the young guns PC. So this one will now go in my Flames binder. Thank you very much for that one as well. An ice green Brady Kachuk. Love Brady Kachuk. I would uh, love to have him on my team. Great player. So yeah, that's really cool as well. Thank you for the Brady. So then to the two final cards, I bought this one and traded for the next one. So I bought this. This is a Doug Gilmore rookie card out of OPG. Very nice card, Dougie Gilmore. Um, I'm sure I could probably take the tape off, but. And I have to say he always packages very well. Tape tops, bubbled envelope, um, always mails when he says he's going to or when we agree to, and by method we agree to. We've done PWEs, we've done tracking, all sorts. So, very good seller and trader. Check out the card collector, 255. I will have his information up, or it's already been put up for you guys. So, anyways, Doug Gilmore, rookie card. And this, as you can guess, is to go with my uh, Stanley Cup winning team, Flames, rookie card PC. Last card, I know I traded the uh, printing plate Jack Eichel and a few other cards for, but I have got this uh, PSA Graded 2 Guy Lafleur rookie card. And I it could have been not graded, and I went to care it. I mean, you can see some of the damage there. Some there. And that, the corners aren't bad. Not a whole lot like in the way of creasing or anything it is very off centered so you can see up there in this side are way less than over there obviously but uh i have no complaints with it. a little bit of like a little damage here a little corner damage foxing a little bit there i personally think and uh i bought a lemieux rookie from him as well ksa graded three with a big crease through it I personally think this is in better shape than that, but PSA, again, grades harder than KSA, so we've got a Gila Fleur rookie card, graded to, love it, I don't care, it's awesome, I love retro cards, um, he gets tons of them, so if you like your retro cards, make sure you check out his channel, he's always got retro cards. Again, the featured cards before I leave, even though I've stacked a whole bunch up, are the Theron Fleury graded 9 PSA rookie card. The Al McKennis graded 9 PSA rookie card. And the Joe Neuendijk graded 8.5 PSA rookie card. Thanks everyone for watching. Again, sorry for the amount of time between videos. Right now things aren't going super easy for me. Um, so I'm very sparingly uh, trying to get cards when I can. And I've had to sell quite a few. So there's a new break in the dynamic. But uh, yeah. I will try and get videos up when I can. I'm also trying to think of some other things that I can do with the channel that include hockey or maybe just go into some gaming as well. But you guys let me know if you have any ideas or suggestions on where you'd like me to take this. If you're happy with maybe once a week, week and a half, I can get something up. Or you want to see some gameplay or game reviews or music reviews or reactions or whatever, let me know. If you have ideas, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, please subscribe. 
It'll help me a lot. Um, click like, share if you can. I'd like to grow the channel. I've been doing this for about a year now, so I, I appreciate the subscribers I have and the people who do like and share my videos. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.